Oh, well, I don't know, I'll try to make a part of your video. In this video, I'll be visiting the back of the station at the time, waiting on the wood for them. I've already taken South Western Railway services, calling out early when it's time or when it's unwaking. This is the first time, the first visiting a few stations at a site not on the Western region. As such, well, and potentially in part of that 25 KV, but instead of having the 750 watt DC third rail, which was installed in 1939 by the Southern Railway. However, the when Reading was rebuilt in the 1970s, they recited Reading Southern to be attached to the rest of Reading Station. This way, then there was no longer the change. And you see those office stops? Yeah, that's where the former Reading Southern was. Reading is a major interchange with Elizabeth Line, TWR, cross country as well as South Western Valley services. Due to issues at Slough, there's less change than normal for Reading. However, this affecting the South Western Railway services and there's a great similarity to the way. And in the far distance, you cross country service. It's a kind of dreading. I think that came from Birmingham or Man no, Manchester. And it's run via Greenford. The unit was 221144. Was It must be quite better for cross country to run it by a green thread. The difference is that the aid is for London Euston. Oh, no. The London Paddington was due to our divide, diverting to London Paddington. Reading will become the terminus of the most great western surface. There are two trains per hour to London Euston. The first First to go to the 17th November. Wait for a few. So, there's a Bristol and a car to first. Put a line into London Eastern. We're stuck at the Discord stuff over there. The big thing is that the stuff will only run like between. Here and the top with a lizard line services running between here and the Northway. Speaking of a lizard sign, one goes off to Adelaide. Three, four, five. Zero four six eight oh two one one three alive and 
so dragging if 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 Stop at the road where you are taking 450 at 444 455 and 458 sir. Let's go to our dice run limited Thorpe Street Reading services which are run by 158 and 159 The 158 are Express Sprinters and the 159s are South Western Turbos. The reason why the Reading the source resources are diesel is because there's no electrification between Reading West and Source Group apart from the Beijing State area. So it has to be diesel. The source resources I think call out Reading West, Reading Green Park, Brownley Mortimer, Dozingstoke, um, Andover, Oval, and Salisbury. I might have got that wrong, but I think it's that those are the stations it calls up. Early station. Early station has two platforms. The line speed of 70 miles per hour. The two platforms at. Welcome to early. <coughs> early station has two platforms, which are managed by Southwestern Railway. It's signalled from Beijing Stoke Signal in Centre with an old signal box being flat building there with the overhanging being the actual signal box and the area underneath was the interlocking room and the ticket office the line speed through early is 110 miles an hour early used to have a level crossing this is why this flat, these platforms here early are staggered however the level crossing was removed and also there you see an oil terminal down on this side here at early which was last used 2010s I think that's at least when the SNC was removed to the oil terminal here at early but it might have been removed far earlier, but there was definitely oil trains here in the 80s because I'm not really sure why there was oil trains too early. If you'd know, please let me know down in the comments. Yeah. But early, the platforms are early can take a 12, 8 coach train at maximum, and there's no step for access to this platform. From the early, but there is the other one because that bridge is there. And, and 
in the very unlike surface and very enormous on top of the surface early, but it has been known in the past that um, Great Western Railways have stopped here as well. This is mainly during times of disruption, like on the 29th of June 2023, when SWR services were suspended between Ascot and Reading due to an incident at Bracknell. An agreement was made that these SWR services would call here and win this and win this triangle as well. So now for passengers to get home and the incident lasted at Bracknell I think 10 hours so it made no sense to stop the GDL drive things here which did lead to um, that the Red Hill that returns became late because the Red Hill one was going because they're not normally meant to stop here that added a few they lost, lost a bit of time so the Gatwick one didn't arrive into Reading until it was a torture and the Red Hill one so the Gatwick one left after the Red Hill one was went to the top so the Red Hill one was late so it didn't go well however there was certainly definitely nothing with road replacement, with coaches replacing Brighton and Ascot. Welcome to the Venice Triangle. Venice Triangle has two platforms which are managed by South Western Railway and this station was built in the 19th century by British Rail. Welcome to Winners. We are 66 miles from London. You might be asking, how is 66 miles from London when we're closer to London than Reading is? That's only about 40 miles. The reason why it is only six, it's longer is because what this is measured via from Can Charing Cross and via Red Hill and Guildford. So not via the crow flies. Winnish also has 
got two platforms, which are, and it's also just like southwestern alleys with a two train style service between Reading and London Waterloo. This service no, normally also it's fine. However, it should be increased because it can be very dizzy. Luckily today it's not been that dizzy. However, it could get very dizzy. This is a 10 optimal stop on this episode. And that's the line off towards um, West Triangle. And that's west towards London. And Depends on who you ask, that is a there might be a limited Great Western Railway service each quarter once a day each way. It's just realistically pointless. You might as well stop all trains or none, no trains, not just one train a day. Is it a parliamentary train or is it's just that they don't need it anymore people. But I'd say, why is it only once per day? Because why not make it all trains or... The, the North Down certainly does need new units. It has two trains and a more people service. This is the current two trains to our service. It is suitable. If you made it for all time stop everywhere, it wouldn't be compatible with the roads. But if you made those trains skip all those stops, then it's not useful for locals. So you need like a four train tower service with all trains running between Gatwick and Oxford, but you'd want to split it at like Guildford. Because then you can because then the stopper can be terminated at Guildford. It would be un it'd be less convenient for the passengers, however the stop or you could sort of on the stopper, but it would have to sit in Guildford for a little while. So it might actually be better to kick all the passengers off the stopper at Guildford and get them on a different stopper to Gatwick or Redhill. So that way then Needs that way, then you don't have that long wait for the unit and the crew because it's your better utilizing the crew because you're sending them back rather than having to hold them there. And when you get onto the Reading end, you might have, you, since it's four tracks in Reading and Didcot, you can just pass on that section, which actually means you. Which means, with well timing, because you would, you would probably have to fast quit only Didcot between Reading and Oxford, because the stutter would fulfil the job of, but well, you don't need to call anyone else, and you'd also improve capacity. Thank <laughs> you.
quite new, it's not quite new. This is a, the final statement in this episode. Quite new and it's backwards and it's very fast. Like half of the ride is and got 30 seconds. Quite less the ride and half of the ride is as well as the bus services. Which one? No, 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 is that it is possible to reverse it and that's that's what I find that's going towards the north loop. But that's going towards the west loop thing because we need to left hand turn in the UK. But no, there's a certain point down there which you can use to cross over to get onto the nine towards the north loop. And so therefore it's not an issue. Well, as you can see, there's a starting signal there, which has the train to be routed across the crossover. And so, it's not used regularly, but during the times of disruption and engineering works, that's when the crossover is used. With there has been an issue between here and Reading due to track fault so yeah so yeah that's it you know, there's one also there's another set of crossovers at Blackmore and at Blackwater so during engineering works some trains will terminate here and then some trains will terminate at Blackwater and Blackmore because you can, there's only a single platform you can terminate on at Wokingham Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to Facebook and Dutch.